I'm Wanji Kumburu and I am an actor and I have gone through depression. Um, I know most of you guys just look at the outward and sometimes I seem bubbly and all but last year I went through some stuff. Um, my mom uh, has been in and out of hospital like at 3 a.m. I'd get a call from my dad and uh, it's let's take mom to hospital she's unwell so that's what we would do and so I would move from hospital directly to the set so I wasn't resting enough um, I was stressed because of my mom of course uh, and also I had to be strong for my dad for most of you who don't know 2014 the beginning of 2014 my brother was kidnapped and so now it's the fifth year with nothing from from them so that has also put a lot of pressure on me um, and my family and also just to be really strong for my dad and my mom they are old um, yeah so last year for me I was going through that whole phase of taking care of my parents um, taking care of my brother's family, um, trying to also take care of me, work, there's that certain expectation uh, that people have of you, the societal pressure. So it got to a point where I didn't want to get out of my house. I got like a phobia. I don't want to go outside because the moment I go outside, then there's every, everybody's just there. Shiko, 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 shiko. And it was just too much and I wanted it to quiet down. So I would lock myself in the house, not get out of bed, just stay, not pick calls, nothing. And so it got to a point where I had constant migraines um, and I would get tired all the time and I didn't want to see people and I didn't have anyone to talk to. I went to various doctors, you know, specialists. Um, finally, I went to a neurologist. Um, who just told me there's nothing physically wrong with me that um, the problem was in the head and that's where everything begins in the head so I was put on um, some drugs and I was told to rest and, and just take it easy so I made to understand that um, the person has four beings uh, being the physical uh, mental spiritual and the social aspect of him so most of the time we're always dealing with the physical you look at me and you see ah she's fat she's good she's laughing and inside you know we are gone socially mentally and spiritual um so having discovered this and remembering the dream that i had i thought this would be the best time to start a foundation for artists in kenya um to reach out to people going through the same or even I don't know why and and I have found a rehabilitation center see now when you s hear me say rehabilitation you're thinking oh I'm not addicted oh nee, 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 nee. but no it's a wellness center where you have a therapist or a counselor who works with you um, if you're facing addiction of any kind and there are so many of them you're going through mental illness disorder depression anxiety stress related these are so many things that I came to realize are affecting us and more so artists even as we get into roles most of us don't de-roll we just move on to the next uh, uh, character so having said that um, um, I've started a foundation it's called the foundation and it's for artists and if you're out there, I know this sounds like an altar call, but no. But if you're out there, please reach out. There's going to be an email down there. Um, reach out and we are here for you. Remember the foundation. We are here just for you. We care and you're not alone in this life. So the foundation email, reach out. We are here for you, man.